Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today, I'm looking at the New England Patriots after they just announced they are signing former Los Angeles Chargers tight end Hunter Henry. This is pretty breaking news because the Chargers, if you're a Chargers fan, if you're a Justin Herbert fan, if you're even the Chargers yourselves, Hunter Henry is probably your favorite target for Justin Herbert. But yes, there's Keenan Allen, but you know that's Justin Herbert's safety blanket. They're friends off the football field, and you really just thought he was coming back to the Los Angeles Chargers. And of all the places for him to leave, New England Patriots probably would have been one of our last picks after they just signed another tight end, Johnny Smith. Arguably, those are the two top tight ends in NFL free agency, and the New England Patriots got both. They signed him to a three-year, $37.5 million deal. That's right above $12 million a year. He's going to get $25 guaranteed. This is huge news for both the Chargers and the Patriots. Chargers fans, I'm sure you're nervous because you got Keenan Allen, and now you're overpaying Mike Williams and... What do we do now? Hunter Henry was really kind of the bread and butter that just really made up this receiving core that just was the cherry on top for that team. And now you're kind of like, well, who do we look at now? I think there's other options than Robert Tanyan from the Packers. There's Jared Cook from the Saints. Neither, neither of those guys are going to match Hunter Henry by any means. And there's really no replacing him unless you go after Kyle Pitts in the NFL draft. And really, that has to be on the Chargers' radar. I just don't believe that this Chargers team, the brand new management, and Brandon Staley, who's defensive minded but has a great, you know, sight of plan for Justin Herbert. There's no way I think they're letting they were gonna let him walk for free without having a backup plan. You have to see, you have to believe that the Chargers have their eyes on Kyle Pitts and possibly trading up in the NFL draft that or going out and signing a top receiver or drafting a top receiver. Like I said, Hunter Henry. Wasn't the best receiver on this team, but he really held things together for this target team. And I do think they seriously need another weapon now, whether it be Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle or Jamar Chase. But Kyle Pitts has to be on the top of the radar because he'd fill Hunter Henry's spot and and then some. Or look at Kenny Galladay. I know he's not a tight end by any means, but if you get Kenny Galladay and Keenan Allen, you're okay with who you have as your backup tight end. You're not going to sweat Hunter Henry because you have probably the next best receiver in free agency. You replaced him in some way, but if you're on the other side of this deal and you have a New England Patriots, you got to be excited. Probably a little skeptical of why you need two tight ends, but don't question Bill Belichick. You know how he is with two tight end, two tight ends. He had at one point Robert Gronkowski, Rob Gronkowski, and Aaron Hernandez, Hernandez, and he made it work. Then now we've got Hunter Henry and John New Smith. I wouldn't compare them to Gronk and Hernandez by any means, but still two great tight ends. You also got Nelson Agu- Aguilar, Kendrick. Born, I think his name was. I might I might be messing that up. And then on the defensive side, you signed a lot of guys, starting with your top guy, Matt Judon. Patriots, I got to say, in my opinion, sounds bull, but I seriously think they are looking like a playoff team. However, everything is on Cam Newton's shoulders. They did finish 7-9 and nine last year with a lot of injuries, a lot of mishaps, and a lot of question marks around Cam Newton, but he did have COVID and such. But I think now with the brand new team, a year of being with the Patriots under your belt, this Patriots team could seriously make a playoff run. You might be able to take out Chua Tungabailoa, excuse me, and the Dolphins, New York Jets. They're still got a lot of potential. But they're still one to two years of rebuilding away from being a serious threat. And I'm not trying to oversimplify the Miami Dolphins by any means because they are going to be a great team and maybe a playoff team by them, themselves. But they might, the Patriots might have put them right on par with the Dolphins to be able to fight for the vision and take down the Buffalo Bills. We will have to see Patriots. They're making a lot of moves, and I'm probably one of the few people, just like 99% of the NFL fan base. If you're not a Patriots fan, you absolutely despise them and don't want them to ever get another ring. I'm with that, but it is cool to see the amount of moves they are making, and you can't say it's not cool to watch as a free agency and watch Bill Belichick absolutely shake up the free agent market. And I'm not rooting for them by any means, but it is cool to see Bill Belichick's trying to win Tom Brady break up himself and make a playoff push the very next year. I can't wait to see how the season starts, especially when Brady and Belichick face this year in New England, Buccaneers versus Patriots. We're going to see that in 2021. But overall, overall summary, Patriots, I seriously think they'll make a playoff push. And I don't think they're done yet. They still got the 15th pick in the NFL draft. They might be looking at Trey Lance. You can't say they're looking at Kyle Pitts by any means because they got two tight ends. They don't need a third, plus that third one probably better than your other two. And then at the Chargers, it is a little scary. I mean, this team's not falling apart by any means. You just signed Corey Lindsley, the best center in football. You signed Michael Davis and you even signed another right tackle. And you got Brian Bulaga. You're finally getting that offensive line together and you have the 13th pick, you know, pick up 
Elijah Vera Tucker or Rashawn Slater or Christian Darisol, you'll have that offensive line of what you need. And to me, if you give Justin Herbert the protection, he'll make it he'll make it worth your while. And no matter who's receiving the football, he'll get it to their hands. So as long as the Los Angeles Chargers have a guy that can catch the football and know how to use his hands, Justin Herbert will make it happen. I'm not worried at all for the Chargers. I am surprised and I'm curious what they're going to do because I didn't think they would just let him walk for nothing. I thought if anything, they were going to franchise tag him. That has passed. And then free agency, I thought, well, long-term deal it is. Neither. They have to have a plan to replace him. I'm not sure what it's going to be. To me, Kyle Pitts is just screaming for the Chargers to trade up and get him. You're not going to get him at 13. I can guarantee he's not going to fall that far. But to me, you have to be aggressive in NFL free agency. You have to be aggressive in sports. And, I mean, if you look at it, the Buccaneers, they were aggressive. And they signed Tom Brady. They won a Super Bowl. And it's... It passes through for all sports. The Lakers, they were aggressive. We got Anthony Davis, they won a championship. The Dodgers, they were aggressive. Signed Mookie Betts, they won a championship. Even a few years ago, the you know Kansas City Chiefs were a complete viable team with Alex Smith. Won in the division, 11-5. and five. They were aggressive and said, not good enough. We're going to trade up and get Patrick Mahomes. Won a Super Bowl. Los Angeles Chargers, Brandon Staley, new management, Justin Herbert. Be aggressive. I know there's risk to it, but be aggressive. Go get Kyle Pitts and make this a Super Bowl team. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This whole Hunter Henry thing is really shocking my mind. The fact that he's leaving the Chargers and where he's going, the New England Patriots, it is just insane. But like I said, let me know down below in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Two in the morning.